it has been your dream to perform since you were a child. Like you want to see your name in the lights. And that's exactly what Leonardo promises Brielle. Baby, I'll make you a star. You can get on stage. You can do your thing. And so Brielle, it's like, yeah, let's do it. But she doesn't know that the stage that he's going to have her on is off, 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 off Broadway. Yeah, he doesn't put her on the Broadway stage. He puts her on the stripper pole. Yeah. So not only is she dancing nightly, she's also rendering other services, if you catch my drift. So Leonardo has gone from being her dream guy to her PIMP. And he's not just doing it to her. Yeah, his family is extremely powerful and they have their own criminal enterprise. And they have strip clubs all over. And all of the girls in their clubs are forced to turn tricks. Thankfully, Brielle was able to escape, but she wasn't able to leave without something. What's that something? A kid. Yeah. Her ex got her pregnant. And that's when she knew, like, I've got to disappear. So she starts over. She actually becomes the personal assistant to the CEO of a pharmaceutical company. Well, at least that's his legal business. Javier is actually the head of the cartel and the CEO of the pharmaceutical company. So imagine how absolutely terrified Brielle is when her boss has a meeting with her ex who she hasn't seen in years, and who also doesn't know that they share a daughter. And when she sees this man, she panics. She's like, I've got to get out of here. And so Leonardo tracks Brielle down, and he's like, I'm going to remind you who you belong to. Thankfully, Brielle's little girl calls Javier. And Javier is like, mm, how did you get this number? And she's like, my mom didn't come pick me up. And she told me if it was an emergency to call. Immediately, Javier knows that something is extremely wrong. Now, Javier is able to rescue Brielle before things really get bad. But now Brielle's like, I've got to leave. And Javier's like, I'll protect you. But Javier has some ulterior motives. You see, Leonardo is his enemy, and Leonardo had a hand in Javier's dad. <laughs> so Javier's like, what better revenge can I have? I already got to your daddy. Now I got your girl and your baby. What's up? And at first, Brielle's like, I don't know if I should do this, but I need the protection. And so... That's exactly what happened. And so we have the sweet kindness that is Brielle, which meets the ice coldness of Javier. And is she actually able to thaw out that ice cold exterior? So this book is actually really special to me because the first book in this series, Era of Flames, is the first book that I ever read on Kindle Unlimited. And so this is definitely a full circle moment for me to finish the series a year later. So it was really, really good start to finish. If you love cartel romances, mafia romances, unhinged behavior, I definitely suggest that you give this book a read.